All right, so welcome to Marketing Food Online. And in this video, I am gonna give you 10 things to consider when you are buying a mobile food cart. That's right, 10 things to consider if you're looking to get into the mobile food cart business. This is unlike a food truck business, but it is very mobile, just the same. And we're gonna dive into those 10 right now. All right, so we are back and welcome to Marketing Food Online. So as I mentioned in the introduction, I'm gonna give you 10 things to consider when you're purchasing a food cart. Now you might be thinking to yourself, food carts, Damien, can you really make money this day and age with food carts? Most certainly you can. There are numerous places, even in the midst of what's going on right now, yes, there are places that you can go to and get your food cart into. And the thing about food carts is that they are very minimal amount of investment. There is not a lot of money that needs to get started up on one of these. Um, you can actually get used food carts. Uh, the, the 10 things that I'm going to go into, I'm going to cover. You want to make sure that you check out the cart to make sure that it is obviously the type and the fit for your type of food product because every type of food that is produced on a food cart is actually going to be very different. And of course, it will need different types of equipment uh, for presentation, for cooking, for everything from storage and everything in between. So if you're new to Marketing Food Online, this is YouTube's premier food entrepreneur channel. We teach you how to start food businesses, profitable food businesses that, that is online or in a food truck or even a mobile food business. So mobile food street vending, is it still alive today? Yes, yes it is. Has it changed because of the certain the, the current situation? It has. Some of the rules and regulations have, but you can still make money doing this. And as places begin to reopen and open back up in some sense of normal seek, you'll definitely get back into making money. So let's get through this. These are in not any particular importance, by the way. I'm just going to give you the 10 things to consider. They, they were all equally uh, just as important as the, each other. So let's get into it. Number one. Now, depending on the type of food that you're making. Now, if, you, if you're serving uh, slices of pizza and hot dogs, all of these are obviously different types of foods um, that are requiring different types of ovens, different types of cookware. So what features, number one, is what features are included and do they meet your specific needs or not? So you need to sit down and obviously pick out the menu, figure out what specifically you're going to make. That's going to dictate your food cart, your mobile food cart and the features that it will have, okay? So you can't just go out, every single cart doesn't just fit one and the same for everything. Number two is, can it easily be hitched to a vehicle for transportation? So something you gotta keep in mind is not only the different features of your food cart, but you're going to be taking these to different places. And obviously you're not going to push the cart from wherever commercial kitchen you have it stored, or if it happens to be in a, in a, a restaurant area that's for storage, you can't necessarily push it to the destination. So most of these carts will be taken by trailer. And then from there, you can push it around the vicinity or the area where you're actually going to be in certain street corners or certain areas of the city or county that you're in. So is it easy to get onto a trailer and hitch? That's also something you need to look into as well as depending on the type of, of uh, food cart you're going to get, you're going to need a trailer in order to transport it. So it has to be super easy to get up and on and load it because you've got a lot of equipment that's on food carts when you have one that's a professional food cart and you've got a lot of stuff that you gotta think about as far as securing and keeping it down. So number three, the weight of the cart Okay, so you're going to be pushing this physically, or you may potentially be having someone assist you. So is it is it heavy? Is it too light? You need to definitely make sure that you can not only tow it, but it's not overly heavy. Because if you happen to be the only one working that cart that day, it's going to be on you to figure out how to push this thing into the area that you need to take it to. Okay, once you unload it from your trailer. So the weight of the cart is super important. Now also keep in mind, when you go to an event, you're going to have it loaded with also the, the food itself. So if you've got a few hundred hot dogs, you've got hot dog buns, maybe some chips, maybe even canned sodas, and you've got some drinks, that cart can get very heavy very, very easily and very quickly. Number four, how easy would it be to secure everything to make sure that while you're transporting it from your trailer to the destination, you've got nothing that could be breaking, nothing could be falling off of the cart. Making sure that everything can be secured on that specific cart is very, very essential. Normally, the cart itself should have all of your utensils and everything you need within it. You shouldn't have a cart and then another cart following it with additional uh, supplies. Everything should be sitting and fitting on the cart. Number five, so does the cart require any assembly when you purchase it? 
Okay, there is a handful of carts that you can order already done. That are there, some of them are even pre-hitched that actually have a hitch for your ball, ball and hitch for your actual vehicle itself. There's no assembly, no nothing. Now, some of them do require assembly. If they do, are you able to put it together? Are you good at building things? Obviously, through the instructions that you'll get through the manual, or are you looking for one that's pre-made that has everything that you're looking for? Okay. Number six, the wheels. Make sure, especially if you're purchasing a used cart, the wheels need to roll properly. Make sure that they roll and that they also have locks on all four of the wheels to ensure that it doesn't obviously go down the street when you're on the corner or if you're at your location, it's not going to be moving. And not only do the wheels work properly, but make sure those locks are locking it dead locked so it doesn't move at all. You do not want any type of cart to fall or roll onto a customer while they're waiting for you to serve them. All right, so number seven, can the cart fit into an area that you are given? So. What I mean by this is that if you happen to go to an event and maybe potentially there's other types of vendors there or you're given a certain amount of space, make sure that your cart actually will have the ability to go there. If you have an oversized cart and you're going to a certain event, potentially that may not work out. Physically, your cart will not fit there. So don't try to overdo it when you get a cart. Try to get one that's a small, minimal amount of space, but is as effective for making the food that you're looking to make. It may not be hot dogs. Maybe it potentially could be desserts, maybe even ice cream trailer. But make sure that it's not overly large as far as the size. And when you go to an event, make sure you have the right amount of space for your physical cart itself. That's something a lot of people don't think of. All right, so number eight, when you're done with the event, can you easily clean up and get your cart back onto the trailer? You wanna make sure things are quick and efficient and you're not gonna spend four or five, six hours trying to clean an entire cart. So can it be cleaned up? Can it be broke down if you have to break it down, for instance, or if you have certain parts that have to close up, is it easy to work with? You don't wanna be pulling your hair out after working an event for 10 or 12 hours, trying to get a cart cleaned up and put back on the trailer. These are things to think about as well, not only the actual use of the cart, but your ability to break it down and get it back to either the commissary where you're storing it, if it happens to be a commissary kitchen, or whatever the, the location is. If it's even a storage unit, a lot of people even keep their uh, food carts in storage facilities overnight or in certain areas. But you need to double check, of course, with your county and city and what they require with the type of storage for food carts. Number nine, don't get a cheaply made cart. Do yourself a favor. If you're going to get into the mobile food business and you want to really make it a profitable one where you're not dropping a ton of money constantly into fixing your cart, make sure it's well made. If you buy a used cart, you really need to overlook it. You need to look, at, look it over and really make sure that everything works and nothing's going to be having to be fixed constantly. Okay, Even some of the carts that are made, they could be even made of a lot of plaques, plastics or even plexiglass or prefabricated plastics where it could be very cheap. You don't want to go that route because in the long run, it will break down. And lastly, number 10, is the cart actually depicting your brand? Now, what exactly does that mean, Damien? Well, if you create a food business, even if it's a mobile food one, you're going to have a brand. You're going to have a look, a feel to whatever it is that you're making. If it's the food itself or the look of your brand, the products, even your cart, does the cart depict and reflect the type of brand business that you want? Even starting on a small scale, like I said, if it's not a food truck, you don't have to go some big direction with a, a $200,000 food truck. But when you're starting with a small mobile food business, make your cart, make sure that it's reflecting who you are, the food that you're making. You can even get a cart wrap, believe it or not. These are wraps, these are designs that you can come up with. And by the way, I've actually got a link down in the description that's very, very cool. You can go to fiverr.com. They actually have mobile cart wraps, even food truck wraps, uh, companies that can design the wraps for you. And that can be something that obviously reflects your, bland, your brand. So make sure that that cart itself is not just some large piece of metal with wheels on it, but if you're looking to create a business, potentially even that you could franchise the food, mobile food idea that you have, franchising it is even a better idea. But you need to have a brand. You should create a brand. So make sure the cart reflects that as well. So these are top 10 tips if you are a beginner in the cart business and a mobile food business. Definitely 10 things to think of that will definitely help you out and get your food, food cup up and running and if you've got any questions about this video let me know down below and we'll definitely get to it as soon as we can i'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching marketing food online and if you are looking to create your own food truck start a home-based food business under the cottage food law franchise a food operation start a packaged food business private label your own food product 
sell on Amazon, get your own online store or sell food online, remember to subscribe and check out these videos for more resources. Take care.